Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Designer and select the Pen tool. Click on the document, hold down the shift and click again. Create a nice straight line. Go to the Appearance panel and you can find that in View Menu, Studio and Appearance. And then select that. Now go over here, you've got a Stroke. Now this will vary depending on obviously what you've got set up. And you can click on there and change the colour. Maybe go for blue or another colour. However, sometimes this doesn't appear. You can click on it three or four times. Eventually it will turn up. Also, likewise with this one, sometimes it will just ignore you, like that. Sometimes it would create two entries. <laughs> Very strange. However, what you can do, you can set it to, say, 800. I want it to be something big like that. Now, for the cap, now sometimes it will just disappear when you don't want it as well. For the cap, I want the second option. So you drop that, join the first option, and align the first option as well. Also, I'm going to go with scale with the object. doesn't particularly matter, but I always like to set that. And also, that's it for that one. Now go to the dash line style. So just go there, and I'm going to set this. So I'm going to go for 0 0.16, something small. Now you can put 2, 3, 5, whatever. You can also put 0 0.164, whatever. Just some, just some values. Um, 0 0.236, I'm just making things up. But just small values, that's what you really want. Very sort of tiny values, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, etc. And also you can set the phase as well. So you can go for 0 0.4, say for the phase. Doesn't matter in this case, of course. However, once you've done that, right click and duplicate. Now I've got the same color. Obviously it's gonna be on top, so that's not any use. But I can change that, say maybe to yellow. Also click here, and again, it might actually turn up. What you can do, you can set, change this dash values. So just go for 0 0.26. And you can see what happens, just moves it along a bit. You've got this different color and let's just go for 0.53. And again, the exact values doesn't particularly matter. You can experiment with this. And again, you can change the phase if you want to do that. And you can see you can vary it. Also what you can do now with this second entry is you can go from normal and you can put it to difference. And you can see you can get more colors into it as well. And you can use other ones. You don't have to use difference. You could use light and all the other ones, but I'm using difference. And again, right click and duplicate. Now change the color, because obviously you're going to get black otherwise, because duplicate with that difference, it's not going to be much use, but just change the color, maybe to blue. All that sort of blue anyway. Once you've done that, you can click on there again, and again, might respond, and six, and then change the value for that one, not point, not three, four, whatever. Something very small, and you can keep doing that, obviously, multiple times and just keep, well, what you can do, you can build up say 10, 15 entries. I'm not gonna do that many because obviously it just take too long for the video, but you could build up say 10 entries. With that, what you can do, now if you haven't got Affinity Photo, you can't do this next point. However, you have got this feature. You've got here the persona. So you can go to the pixel persona, click on that, and you can modify it, you can distort it using that feature. It's not so good, but I think the best one is with photo, you can go to file and edit in photo. So now you've got exactly the same design in photo. Now, what you can then do, of course, you can change the colors, you can do all various things. You've got, you can do that in designer as well, of course. But what you can also do, you can rasterize this because that's what I want to do. So layer and rasterize. So it's just become a pixel layer. And that's the key thing because I want to turn it into a pattern. However, if I do now turn it into a pattern layer, you'll end up with a white line around it, which is not ideal. So go to the rectangular marquee tool, select that, and then just go about very close to the edge. Doesn't have to be exactly, of course, but just something like that. So you've got a selection there. Then you can go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. And now you've got that design. Now I'm just gonna remove the lower layer because what happens, quite often I select that by mistake. I'm working for about five minutes thinking nothing's changing. So I'm just gonna delete that. So I've just got the pattern layer to work with. That's the easiest thing. If you, if you leave it there, it always seems to be selected, whatever you do. Now, once you've done that, you can rotate this design, move it around, do all kinds of things. But you can also apply effects. But using effects, it's best to go up here to the top left and go for mirror. So I'm just gonna go for mirror. Now, of course, you've got the, the mirror effect there and I can increase that. You can create all kinds of different designs by this pattern feature, nice lines like this. 
And of course you could duplicate this design as well. And then obviously combine it maybe with blending mode. But what you can also do is you can always go to filters and distort and I'm gonna go with twirl. With twirl, you end up with this very, very, now you might not want that exactly. And of course, if you don't get a great design, you can always undo, so cancel, just cancel it. Maybe increase the size again. Maybe you think, you know what? I don't want it to be that small. Just crease it just a bit. Maybe rotate it. Just rotate it like that and then go with it. So again, filters, distort and twirl. And you can see the design there. And then you can just change the angle settings. Change the radius, just change those. Also change the origin point. And something, I think that looks quite nice. And click apply. And now, of course, this is, again, still a pattern. So you can still resize it. You can also, again, just duplicate it. Hold down the alter option key and duplicate that design. And you can create multiple copies of that. And of course, you can always use blending modes then, sometimes resulting in a bit of garish design, but you can explore and you can always remove, you can always delete that layer. That's the great thing about layers. So now you've got that design. Of course, what you can do, you can always go file and go back to edit in designer if you want to. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.